Coach Husky is returning for one last rebuild on NCAA 14, and it's going to be with the Idaho Vandals as he looks to turn them into champions. This rebuild is definitely going to be tough across the board because there's not any position on this team that is good. And to try to help that, Coach Husky was only going after three stars or higher this entire rebuild. Season one didn't look too bad, but our team was pretty bad, and we would open up season number one with a 20 to 17 loss against North Texas. It was time for week two, so that meant we were going after low lock recruits, and the most notable one perhaps was Todd Nance, a four-star quarterback. Our first win of the season would actually come over number 24 NIU, as halfway through season number one, we were sitting at two and four, and had managed to climb to Todd Nance's top school on his list. He even agreed to come on a visit to campus, and I can't lie, our recruiting board was starting to look nice this year. We would pick up only one more win in the second half of the season though, but despite that, we would end up signing four-star quarterback Todd Nance to the squad. We would finish the season at 3-9, and nine, and in off-season recruiting, we had three recruits we were splitting our points evenly with, as we would end up signing all three of them, and while it wasn't the greatest, we had the 83rd ranked class in the country in season number one with one four-star. We didn't have very many three-stars interested in us heading into season two, but I knew that would change throughout the course of the season, which wasn't off to a great start with a blowout loss against Florida. Week two saw us fill out the recruiting board with our low lock recruits, and most notably, we're going after five-star wide receiver Robert Summers. Our first win of the season would come in week three against Western Michigan, but after that, we were right back to our losing ways and weren't looking too hot headed into the second half of the season, where we were currently sitting at two and four. On a positive note, though, we were almost leading for five-star athlete Carlos Hilos and were leading for five-star receiver Robert Summers, as well as four-star defensive end Curtis Martindale. Losing still seemed to be our team theme though in the second half of the season, but thankfully we would scoop out another win against New Mexico State, as along with that, we'd signed our first five-star recruit in Robert Summers, and we're so close to signing another five-star athlete in Carlos Hollis and four-star defensive end Curtis Martindale. We had one game left in season number two of the rebuild, and with a 28-14 win over Georgia State, that would give us a final record of 4-8 on the year, which was a one-win improvement over last year. In off-season recruiting, we would put all our points into 78 overall five-star athlete Carlos Hollis, and he would be one of two five-star recruits we would get to commit to the team this season, which would end up giving us the 37th best ranked recruiting class in the country. And despite our record, after everything we accomplished this year, Idaho decided to extend our contract four more seasons, so it was now time to get ready for season number three. Hopefully we saw an improvement this year as we had a very weak schedule, but we would start out with a 35 to 21 loss to Ohio. It was week two, so that meant it was time to go and fill our recruiting board with low lock cheese, high star recruits. But I don't know if any of them would want to sign with us if we kept losing games like this. Finally, we'd pick up our first win of the season against FCS Northwest. And at the halfway mark of season number three, we were sitting at three and three. Our recruiting board was looking promising though, as we were in the lead for five star quarterback, Brad Taylor, four star free safety, Rory Stewart, and four star middle linebacker, Scott Edwards. After a win against FCS East, we were only one win away from improving upon last year's record again. And at this point, we had signed almost every recruit on the board except Brad Taylor, the five-star quarterback. He would finally sign on the dotted line with us in week 12 of the season. In the following week, we would get that one last win we needed over UL Monroe, as that would improve our record over last year, and we would finish at five and seven. After signing all the recruits on our board, we would go after three additional prospects here in off-season recruiting, but unfortunately, none of them would end up signing with us. And with only one five-star, we had the 41st ranked recruiting class in the country. On a positive note though, sophomore quarterback Carlos Hollis was going to be an 85 overall headed into season number four for us. We had what looked to be another very easy schedule here in season number four, as we would start off the season by filling out our recruiting board with five and four star recruits and would pick up a win in our first game of the season against Toledo. We'd follow that up with our first power five victory over Northwestern in week five. And that win started to turn some heads on the recruiting board as we were starting to gain leads on most of our recruits. Right at the halfway mark for season number four, we'd pick up a 28 to 23 win over Kent State, and that would match our win total for the entire season last year as we were sitting at five and one. Our week eight win over New Mexico State would make us bowl eligible for the very first time this rebuild, as that news spread throughout our recruits and we started gaining even more interest from all of them. The season was going so well that I wasn't too upset about losing this game to Troy, as we would bounce back the very next week with a win against West 
Western Kentucky, and we would finish season number four at 10 and two, which was enough to end us ranked number 25th in the nation. We would receive an invite to the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl against six and six USC, but ultimately we would lose our first bowl game 17 to 27. To make matters worse, we were losing both our defensive coordinator and offensive coordinator this off season, as well as most of our core players who were leaving due to graduation. We had six players that we were going after and splitting our points evenly for in off-season recruiting, and while we didn't get all of them, we got four out of six, which would help us land our first ever top 10 recruiting class in this rebuild. I was excited for season five as our first ever five-star recruit quarterback Carlos Hollis was now a 93 overall as well. We only had a single recruit on our board to start week one of season number five, but that would quickly change as we would target all five and four-star recruits in week number two. We would start off the season with a win against UNLV 35 to 28, and by week six, we're still undefeated and would pick up a Big Ten win against Iowa. We would continue our winning streak the following game as we'd pick up a 35 to 14 win against North Texas, and we were suddenly a perfect 6-0 to start season number five. The recruits were taking notice as we were starting to gain leads on all of them on our board, but our first loss would finally come in week eight to Indiana, and we would follow it up with another loss to number 15 Pittsburgh. Despite these two losses, our recruiting board was still looking strong for us, but I'm not gonna lie, these losses to Tulsa and to UCLA to close out the season really stung. Despite that, we would still get invited to a bowl this season, where we would get our first bowl victory of the entire rebuild, and I guess that makes up for having one less win than we did last year. Headed into the offseason, thankfully we were keeping both of our coordinators, and in offseason recruiting, we were going all in on athlete Brian Clark, but despite him committing to LSU in the offseason, we still had the 11th best recruiting class in the entire country, as well as a 99 overall senior quarterback headed into season number 6. We opened up season 6 as expected with a big time win over FCS, and in week 6 would get our first top 10 win of the entire rebuild over Penn State, which would automatically jump us up to number 20 in the nation. We would follow that up with another top 10 win against number 7 Clemson the following week, and we now found ourselves inside the top 10 ranked at number 10. Another ranked victory against Arizona State, followed by a very close one point victory on the road against Florida State, would then give us the number one ranking in the nation at 10 and 0. After picking up a win against Fresno State the following week, all we had to do was beat Eastern Michigan on the road to finish the season undefeated, and that is exactly what we do with a 27 to 10 victory. We would finish the season a perfect 12 and 0, and Carlos Hollis was a Heisman finalist as well. Even though he didn't end up winning the Heisman award this season, he would have a chance to win his team a national championship against Alabama. This game did not start off good for us as we'd miss a field goal on our opening possession, and Alabama would take that chance to score their first touchdown. Thankfully, we would respond right back with a read option, and this was a big fourth down for Alabama as we would come up with the stop, which would in turn give us a chance to tack on one more touchdown before halftime. We would force a three and out for Alabama with under 30 seconds to go, and that gave me a crazy idea to try and score again, and sure enough, that idea was so crazy that it would end up working for us. We were up 21 to 7 over Alabama now and would come up with another huge fourth down stop as it was looking like we were going to run away with this game. But you can never count Alabama out as they were now only down by a touchdown. Thankfully, all we needed to do was pick up this first down here on the drive and Carlos Hollis would kneel the ball out for us as we had officially completed our goal. Thanks in part to our first ever five-star recruit, Coach Husky had turned Idaho into national champions.